question number one find the value of the unknown exterior angle x in the following diagram so these are your exterior angles and you have to find their values before solving these questions let us visit the concept behind the concept says an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles so here we have different terms number first is exterior angle of a triangle so what is an exterior angle of a triangle well if you see this figure here we have triangle ABC so exterior angle of a triangle simply gives you idea that the angle will not be inside this triangle because inside are only these points so it must be out of that but it must also be attached to this triangle so in this way you can construct it if you extend any of the side of the triangle in this case we have extended BC to D so then the angle formed is termed as exterior angle therefore the name of this exterior angle will be angle A C D this is not the only way to construct it you can also extend this arm you can extend this arm so in every vertex you can make two alignments for an instance this way or this way so two you have total three vertices so six ways are there in which you can draw exterior angle of a triangle so we have learned this part now the property says that angle which is formed is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles so interior angles are these you know them very well angle a b and c inside part but it says it is equal to its opposite angles so what are opposite angles if we are considering this exterior angle ACD the opposite interior angles to it will be angle A and angle B so this is the concept behind this property or theorem whatever you want to call it and one more obvious thing is that the interior angle with this C and the exterior angle make a linear pair this will be true for any of the exterior angle form therefore they are supplementary and what is a supplementary learning trick as comes after therefore sum makes 180 degrees so therefore this exterior angle plus interior angle with that same vertex will make 180 degree angle this was the statement of this theorem now how we can prove it so we will give logical reasons for this in order to prove that the interior opposite angles are equal to exterior opposite angle you have to draw a line segment CE in this case that is you have to draw a line segment parallel to this opposite side when you draw so we get some interesting facts now these are parallel lines and you have learned in your previous chapter of parallel lines that whenever a parallel line is intersected by a line with two points it is a transversal case and various angles are formed now if you see here Z formation is happening the figure Z and you know very well you have also learned in your previous chapter this pair is called alternate angles and they are equal so we can conclude that angle 1 equals angle X because BA is parallel to CE and AC is your transversal that is the first reason and angle 2 is equal to angle Y because again we have AB and CE as your parallel lines and transversal AC and these makes corresponding angles the letter F and these are corresponding angles now because angle 1 and angle 2 are equal to X and Y respectively so we can say that this exterior angle namely ACD in this case is always going to be equal to its opposite side and in this case angle A and angle B this will be always true if you get some slight difference while you do it in your practical then it is only your fault but in other cases this holds true for every triangle so this was the whole concept behind this theorem now let's solve the question the first one is you are given with interior opposite angles 50 plus 70 and you have to find angle X simple you have to add them so X is 50 plus 70 simple 120 now here this is exterior angle 
and its opposite angles are these and they are interior as well so 65 plus 45 gives you 110 and it is the value of this x again exterior angle its opposite angles are these add them up 4 plus 3 7 attach 0 70 degrees exterior angle 60 60 is 120 is your exterior angle again exterior angle is x interior opposite angles 50 plus 50 100 degrees exterior angle and we have to add them 60 plus 30 gives you 90 degrees by observation you can say that this is 90 degrees it appears to be 90 degrees although you don't have to just assume the things in geometry until or unless either you prove it or it is given to you so that was your question number first question second find the value of the unknown interior angle x in the following figures in this case we have to find the value of x but it is your interior angle since we know the property behind these questions now we can solve them easily we have to just find the value of x so what is the theorem let's repeat it again the exterior angle of a triangle is always equal to the sum of its opposite interior angles this is exterior of a triangle this is interior and opposite is this therefore using algebra we can solve it this 115 is equal to 50 plus x we don't know this x we will solve it now transposing 50 towards left hand side its sign changes it was positive here it becomes negative that is equal to x always write degrees here because we are talking in terms of degrees angles are measured in terms of degrees so x equals to subtract it how much it is away from 100 50 and how much it is away from 100 15 you add them up this 65 this is also another way of subtracting so x equals 65 this angle is 65 degrees second again 100 will be equal to 70 plus x the same has been written here now x here transposing 70 towards right hand side its sign changes that is it becomes negative 100 minus 70 is 30 that's your second now here 125 will be equal to x plus how much is this angle so whenever you see this square box within an angle it is 90 degrees so x plus 90 degrees gives you 125 degrees now transposing 90 towards right hand side plus becomes minus same has been done so it is 10 away from 100 it is 25 away from 100 so 10 plus 25 is 35 degrees this angle measures 35 degrees here 120 degrees exterior angle will be equal to sum of opposite interior angles 60 plus x degrees gives you 120 degrees x as it is 60 transposing 120 minus 60 is 60 degrees so it will be your equilateral triangle 60 plus 60 three angles of a triangle make sum equal to 180 degrees 180 degrees minus 120 degrees will give you how much will give you 60 degrees also you can check linear pair 60 plus 120 is 180 degrees that's fourth again 80 exterior angle will be equal to sum of opposite interior angles 30 plus x transposing 30 towards right hand side subtracting x equals 50 degrees x plus 35 degrees gives you 75 degrees now x equals 75 minus 35 it is 45 degrees so this x measures 45 degrees so that is your sixth and that was your last question question number second